Hey, what is up, guys? Renstack TV here. Here's another video for you with regard to the G Space app. So, pretty much, this is the most updated that you can get right now from the app gallery. And uh, I modded this one for you so you, you won't get this annoying um, ads or pop ups. So, pretty much. Um, I'm just gonna show you some of the apps that I have tested here so I know there's a lot of apps that you may you know want to use to your phone especially with the uh, newer devices uh, special mentioning the uh, mate 40 pro since there's no current um, native GMS method to you know make it work on it for now so yeah let's get into it so we have now this uh, G Space version 1.1.0, and I named this one GMS Apps. So this is the one you, the, that I'm opening right now. And as you can see, I have already installed some of the uh, applications. And uh, just to let you know, guys, so there are some uh, cons to this as well. So pretty much the cloning option won't work all right but if you have you know check my previous videos with regard to uh, gspace um i have shown you the uh the other method to install apk files via this um sai or split apk install installer and pretty much you know you can install any apk uh, files that you can download over the uh, APK mirror or anywhere from the uh, internet you can get so pretty much it's still gonna work here um, let me go ahead and show you one by one um, these common um, apps that I use in my end that uh, previously is not working fine here you know so okay so first of all with the new G space guys so just like the previous version um, without the uh, Play Store icon here so you won't have that but again as already uh, you know shown you before and to show you again right now in in any case that you need to access that one you just have to tap any of the application here uh, pretty much just hold and tap uh, and choose upgrade so you would you know see the uh, this interface with the uh, search um, option on the upper right hand you can click on so you can search for any um, applications you want to install so pretty much if you want to see the uh, main inter interface for Play Store just go back and just like that you would see that you're already on this uh, normal screen that you would get if you have the uh, Play Store icon to click on and it's just you know like two steps away um, with this uh, interface that you're getting right now so again um, any apps that you can um, uh, tap and hold like for example this one let me try that again just click on upgrade and go back then you can you know search for any apps or games that you want to install in that case so you don't really have to you know force get the uh, Play Store icon here okay as I have already explained so let's get into this all right now we have the the Gmail app here so if you notice I'll open this up here all right you will see that there is already this um, profile pic that's showing up on the upper right hand which is new okay uh, before it's just gonna show the first initial of your email address which means you know not all functions or features are working so hopefully this time it's gonna work fine but um, tentatively um, notifications still is an issue as usual right but there's a workaround that I have shown you uh, in, in my previous video which I will link down below if you need that so you can try it and see if it works for you as well 
Um, I have also installed here the push notification tester, like this one. And uh, seems push notifications are or can be registered without any issues and can receive ones as well. So it's just a matter of you know, um, like tinkering whatever is on and here on the settings, make, making sure it's not under the uh, battery optimization. Um, you know, notification settings should, should be set properly and all that. So, you know, pretty much you know the drill. Okay, so email for I mean Gmail app is working fine. Um, YouTube. I mean, you know, these are working um, applications even before, but maps, um, one of the uh, most, you know, um, having issues app that we have encountered before. So as you can see here, um, it's pretty much working fine, right? And um, even if you like, say you navigate to somewhere and then start the navigation and you need to cancel if you click on the x button it can be cancelled immediately unlike before so that's a progress you know um just to set your expectations properly so it's not 100 percent that um this g space version would you know make all the application available from the play store to work 100 percent as well so you just have to you know do do some test um depending on whatever apps you need in your phone so that's totally up to you there's a lot of them so i cannot test uh one by one here in just one video but of course i will check on your comments uh below in this video if you need something to work um you know so i could check on it and see if there's something that i can do as well or any workaround that we could apply to it but there's no guarantee but you know i'm i'm here to uh help if i can of course and in the best that i could all right so all right uh pretty much those are the uh oh by the way guys for the for the chrome um Okay, if you notice here, I have Google Chrome, which is the latest version, and it's working fine, okay? Alright, that's working definitely 100%, and it's also syncing with the account. So, here's what I did. Actually, I would like to um, show you the, uh, the installation uh, process itself, so uh, please bear with me. Alright, so I may need to uninstall this um gms apps or the g space modded version here so i can show you uh here we go on installing it right now all right just like that and let me install that back so i'll link down below the files guys okay um I have that named as GMS apps. So it's a zip file. So same as usual, just right click and then extract it by clicking more and extract to and current directory. All right, and once extracted, just install as you normally do. So pretty much click on install and wait for it and then open it up so password is my channel name rents dags tv with the year 2021 say okay then press start and allow everything make sure it's allowed and continued and wait again so let's wait there you go now um so i so i'm just gonna do the uh the, the chrome part of this okay so let me first go to play store so i can log into it so give me just a second here
So I'm gonna add some more. Both of my accounts actually, so we can test that out. Okay, so it's asking me for code that's been texted to me. Entering it now, and it's all good. Okay, so um, now uh, I will go ahead and search for Google Chrome. So as you can see, guys, the option that you can uh, click on here is enable but i have already tested this on my end it's not going to do anything really okay so um if it works on your end then just proceed with it and if it you know runs fine then you don't have to do anything else after that right but in this case um if, if it won't okay just like what's going on here on my end please search for sai this one the split APK's installer, just install it normally. And sometimes, um, you know, for the first time that you just logged onto your account via the Play Store um, app here, it may not download the uh, app that you want to install right away um if if you're you know having the same uh thing right now that's going on here in my end and nothing is like there nothing's happening basically just cancel and we download it and that's it or you can just wait and if it starts then it should be fine but again if not just cancel install cancel install and it should work definitely eventually all right, so uh, now I'm gonna open this app here. And um, I have also this um, version of the uh, Chrome APK, <clears throat> sorry about that, APK file um, uh, that I'll include here in the description below so you can download it as well. Um, but basically here, once you have this uh, split APK installer um, app, installed so just click on the install apks internal file picker and uh, look for the file in my case here i have it saved under the uh, download uh, folder and it's named chrome something let me just find that one here oh there you go this one the the version 91.0.44 something okay this one here all right so this is the the file that i'll be including in this uh this i mean this video with this video so click on that and say next install and wait for it until it's gonna give you a confirmation that it's installed so right now it's still installing so you just have to be uh patient and wait for it to get done just like that all right so once done, don't show this one and close the app. And then um, let's go back to our Gemma's app homepage here where you can see Chrome. If you, if you can't see this one, just close reopen uh, G space, okay? And then click on it. And oh, by the way, it will say that it's not uh, gonna work uh, here, okay? But instead of just opening it here to launch the, the uh, app, just hold it and I mean tap and hold to upgrade and it should ask you to update and just make sure to click on update and wait for it to complete. So uh, in my previous test, it's taking long and uh, there might be a possibility to, uh, you know, for it to have a need to cancel and update a couple of times if it's if it gets stopped to a certain percentage but in this case it's now going to 100 percent 
and in, and now installing so I'm good right now on my end if, uh, if on your end if it's not installing it yet again you can just cancel try to update again cancel try to update you know pretty much you can do whatever you you need to uh, if, if there's an need for you to uh, close and relaunch um, G space you can do that but eventually it will get installed like what you're seeing right now so I can open this one now and say allow accept and continue next it's gonna read my account and there you go uh, you, you should have your uh, Google Chrome installed and should work fine a hundred percent and I have I have this already uh, tested you know on my end so that's why I can really tell that this is gonna work fine unlike uh, the previous version of the G space where we had to go back to an older version of the Chrome which of course is no longer supported for some of the sites that you can go to but anyways uh, this one works already guys so that's fine all right so uh, pretty much uh, that's it for this video guys so um, if you find this helpful please do like this uh, video share it as well uh, to your communities if you, if you have any and of course I have um, like 90% um, of my viewers not subscribed so if you're one of them um, you can definitely help this channel like big time if you could find that subscribe button and click on it and uh, turn on the notification bell as well for future uh, videos that I can put up here that would help you in regard to um, you know the GMS installation for Huawei devices and um, pretty much any anything that you know I, I can think of uh, making it as a content here on my channel this channel guys doesn't have any specifications or like you know it's sort of like in general right now okay because um you know it's it's just what i want to do so but right now um i'm more into the gms um installation thing because i have huawei device myself that i'm using and just wanna you know help you guys as well and um pretty much um at least you know uh lessen the burden that you have on your end trying to figure out things for your Huawei device so you know that's what I'm doing for you guys and I hope if you appreciate that again please do like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you very much again for watching this video and see ya in my next one peace hello my friends Lorenz Dax TV here and if you like my video please smash that like button share the video and subscribe to my channel thank you for your help here's how you do it Boom. Bada bim bada boom. And if you are on your phone, here's how you do it. Boom. Bada bim bada boom. Thank you and see ya in my next videos. Peace.